Hello, everyone. We're here for another amazing edition of Ottawa International Crafts and Book Expo Presents. We have an amazing festival coming up in uh, for uh, July 15th and the 16th in the Horticulture Building. And today we're going to be highlighting our sort of uh, social networking that we're going to be doing during the uh, festival. There has been still a lot, a lot of people who are recovering from feeling isolated, loneliness uh, from the pandemic, you know, we're all, but it's still a lot of people are feeling, you know, that, you know, that, you know, there's been a sort of a, a shift in lifestyles. You know, some places report that, you know, there's less pedestrian traffic, certain parts of the city and, you know, people are just having a different kind of view and perspective on social activities to a certain extent and connecting in general. So our event has a theme to bring people together. So we're going to be having some fabulous, uh, both some singles events. And these are sort of what we call singles friends event. Uh, so that we, you know, the idea is to connect uh, because, you know, a lot of times those single people, people who are single have different right. uh, lifestyle than people yes. who are, um, um, you know, married and have kids and have different family responsibilities. So yeah. um, it's a you know, great, uh, it's a great yeah. idea. Yeah, yeah. So that's what our, so that's what our idea is. So we're kind of connecting um, people together who mm -hmm. are go, go, who who otherwise might feel isolated, and that's what our sort of a theme of the event. So we have a, so a great activity planned for, for example, on as, uh, going back to single friends. So our idea is to for people who are single, you know, who just want to connect with each other connect with common interests, common values, and potentially also meet a significant other uh, in the process. And I take a different approach that, uh, that you find in, you know, I mean, a lot of people are accustomed to, um, to uh, speed dating um, yeah. and stuff like that, which to me, speed dating, you, have you heard about speed dating, Santosh? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like uh, it's, they give you a certain limited time, very yeah. limited time, and there's like maybe, I don't know, 30, 40 people, and then they have to like, they have they have very less time to know each other. Yeah, and they have to make a decision. Or yeah, it's it's. Uh, I don't find it's enough time to be honest in those speed dating events to really yeah. know someone. Yeah. So an event like yours, uh, the one we're going to have in the Auto Book Expo, seems like people can really get to know each other. Uh, yeah, on a much because, longer time. Yeah. Yeah. So that's yeah. the idea. Because what what we do is differently. Is that uh, you know, yeah. like you said, in the speed dating, people yeah. are just like you know circling around they just yeah. speak to each other for five minutes or whatever and it's very artificial i mean i've it gone is. to them and oh, okay. it sounds like a great idea oh you're going to be meeting a lot of single ladies whatever during that time but it's very um artificial it and is. and uh i find that the people there i mean i've met people there who are not even they just they're just like stand-ins they're not actually there for the event they're just there with their friends yeah or they're, they're just to populate the scene so there's like yeah. a, some scamming going on, a scamming. Yeah, activities. they're not serious there. It's almost like, uh, well, I'm sure you've heard a lot about online dating, especially yeah. now with Tinder and stuff. It yeah. seems very superficial. Like it's like, oh, it's all completely looks based or like, oh, yeah. if you're very attractive, then you get all the matches if you're not. But yeah. whereas uh, an event like ours, it's going to be like uh, people meet each other yeah. in person and they yeah. are able to talk and relate to each other. So the uh, chances of you actually finding a significant other that's going to be a long-term relationship is much uh, higher. And, yeah, uh, yes, it's much higher for us because, I mean, we're yeah. because there are also other events, you know, that have that various companies put mm -hmm. on, and we are not for profit event. We, you know, we seek to raise money as much as we can for charitable initiatives, but these yes. for-profit managed uh, singles events, you know, there's some that are not speed dating, but when you mm -hmm. go to them, you don't really, I don't find it really conducive to meeting people because then you you have a lot of these people you know they yeah. come, everybody comes to the event and they're kind of looking at each other who's that who's that and some people feel mm. shy some people are more sort of a uh, proactive and then they have these artificial icebreakers where you kind of uh, ask so are you the are you the guy who is uh, you know who wants to you know do bungee cord jumping or have you ever traveled to Mexico oh you've traveled uh -huh. to Mexico you're a match <laughs> and let me see if I can find another match. And I mean, yeah. it treats people 
like their social misfits when you have these um, artificial icebreakers. People connect in terms of talking, but they don't yeah. really get to know each other. So the reason that our event is different is that we create an environment for people to actually know who the person is on a real basis, not connecting people through artificial icebreakers, so that people who know each other and say, oh, I know, let me talk to that person who knows, uh, who's also a downhill skier. Oh, I, I've always wanted to go to Tahiti. Oh, that person is also a foodie, or that person is also a runner. You have an mm. opportunity to have a meaningful um, conversation with yes. other people based right. upon what they know, not based upon some artificial uh, icebreakers, which is what drives um, these yeah. um, uh, you know, for-profit events. And I find yeah. when they do that, they're not necessarily interested in necessarily connecting people. Because what happens is that the more you stay, longer you stay single, the more likely you're going to come to another event and yeah. as single. But if they start right. connecting everybody, I'm just trying to go into their mindset, why they don't do a better job. These, ah. all these single companies out there that, you know, have they have the speed dating on one side and have these artificial icebreaker event with these very, you know, attractive yeah. uh, oh. hosts and stuff yeah. like that. And they're just kind of giving you this artificial smiles and they're not really connecting people together and stuff i don't come out there to connect and people you know i mean so we're, we're not like that so it'd be definitely i mean i've had been doing this for a while in terms of singles events and okay. when i do the singles events you know i mean after like five minutes we start people don't even re remember that I am, i'm even there because they're oh. so engaged and enthralled in the conversations that they have with yeah. connecting to each other based upon the introductory context that I provide that, you know, they're just, they're just totally like, I'm just there doing my own thing. <laughs> they're like yeah. talking and talking and whipping up a storm, talking, engaging in spontaneous, you know, conversation. It's, and I've had people, I've yeah. seen people, I've done events where, you know, they just connect each other immediately and they just take off because there's another satisfied couple over there that just walked yeah. out of the and said, I can't, Let's, let's just stop. We're meant for each other. Let's just leave the event right now. And yeah, 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 yeah. So that's, and, you know, that's the sign of a good success. So that's the yeah, same yeah. idea we're taking in this event. We, our event right. is about meaningfully connecting people. Uh, you know, and, that, and our success is based upon the connections we meet. On Saturday, July 15th, we have an event at from 12 to 2. Um, and you check out the website, uh, ottawabookexpo.ca. You'll see an event we call Book Up and Hook Up. Uh, it's uh, that event uh, from 12 to 2 at Lansdowne Park that is focusing on singles who are 25 to 47. So that's yeah. what our target is for that one. And then we have another one later in the afternoon for people who are 45, 50 plus. They can check oh. out our afternoon event for Book Up and Hook Up on Saturday, July 15th. And then on the Sunday... July 16th, we have a fabulous event also in the morning for breakfast and brunch lovers who are 45 plus. They can check out that event from um, 10 to 12 noon. And we right. also have, uh, you know, we also have some uh, great social dancing lessons coming up both for the Saturday and the Sunday. Oh. For Saturday, we have swing dancing. Oh, this is great! This is you. you I I just love how you categorized it for different age groups, and then yeah. that's uh, that's a, I, you're increasing the odds drastically by doing that. Because yeah, uh, a lot of these uh, speed dating events they have are they might have like all age groups, right? And then what ends yeah. up happening is that like you know there's going to be a few that are either I mean not the it's same demographic age wise, and then yeah. they might not meet up anybody. So I'm really that's really good that you divided it and. And you also have the dancing event. That's definitely yeah. going to get people more connected. So yeah. That's really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have a dancing event coming up as well on the Sunday okay. uh, for the um, LGBTQ communities. We have okay. a Sunday. We have uh, an event uh, from a, tw a 12 o'clock event, 12 noon event to 2 p.m. Uh, check out our website, our website, ottawabookexpo.ca. It will also be posted on... Um, Ottawa uh, with Summerfest.ca can check out that event as well. Um, 
One thing I want to do uh, before we go any further is uh, thank some of our sponsors uh, at the event for um, Ottawa Book uh, Expo. We have uh, so we have some great sponsors uh, for the upcoming festival. They include um, Omni TV in Toronto. That's an amazing uh, you know event uh, media sponsor. We also have WPBS Watertown TV. That's another great media sponsor. It's been sponsoring us for a while since 2019. Uh, we also have another media sponsor, Mountain Lake PBS, based in Plattsburgh, New York. We want to thank them as well as a media sponsor. We also have another media sponsor based in Ottawa from the uh, representing the Franco-Ontarian Francophone communities, Le Devoir, Le Droit. Le Droit is the daily newspaper in Ottawa. That's also another event sponsor of ours, Le Droit in Ottawa. Wanted to thank them as well. We also wanted to thank um, some of our um, event partners, uh, including um, Agogo Books. Uh, that's one of our event partners. Um, we also have, um, let me just double Ottawa check. Public Library, La Bibliothèque Public d'Ottawa. That's also an um, event partner. So, and Desjardins is also another um, event partner. And last but not least, we have another PBS station who's an event media partner, KSPS. They're an event partner for the event in general. Again, these are media partners and event partners for our event in general. So, go, so I wanted to thank them. So going back to, yeah, so the social dancing, we have a lot of social dancing planned for the uh, weekend. Uh, we have great. on the Saturday, we're going to be doing, uh, we have swing dancing wow. uh, coming in the uh, or, or sort of the late afternoon. We also have a uh, plan, a Lindy hop for people okay. who's like us. So, so swing dancing is like a, from the, like the 30s. You know, I've been a swing dancer for over uh, like a, a 12 years, you know. Um, wow. you know yeah, so it's a great uh, opportunity. So, you know, for people who don't know swing dancing, check that out. Our swing dancing. So, and then we have Lindy Hop, which was the, which is a little different style, uh, mm -hmm. but um, or, uh, more like the, I believe the twenties, the Lindy Hops, and it's sort of related to sweet. So that's on a Saturday. We're planning that. So, and we have uh, so check out um, Auto Winterfest dot. I mean, sorry, sorry, ottawasummerfest.ca. Check out ottawasummerfest.ca, and we'll be listing everything on a we'll, on a day by day basis in terms of our activities, especially the social networking. On Sunday, we have um, we have a uh, sort of a uh, starting at six thirty. We have an open lat a Latino Latino dancing. We have for salsa, merengue. And wow. uh, bachata, which is like my favorite. Uh, so that's coming up 6.30. And before wow. that, for people who don't, and when you go to these dancing, both for swing dancing on the Saturday and Sunday, you don't need a partner because, you know, you go to, that's the thing about social dancing. Social dancing, people are asking you to dance. If you're male, you'll have, you'll have a lot of ladies asking you to dance. I mean, I've gone to these events. Ladies have asked me to dance. You don't find that at normal dancing. Yes, normal, true. No, no, Oh. Your so-called normal top forty dancing. You're on your yeah. own if you're, especially if you're a guy. Oh, it's very floor. awkward. <laughs> yeah, but it's this socially is awkward. Yeah. So when you go to social dancing, it's about people are always, you know, connecting with each other that way. Yeah. yeah. So we have that on on um, so 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 on Sunday, we have oh, six thirty. Will be open floor dancing. You know, we have the lessons. Mm -hmm. Lessons will be also a bit made available starting yeah. at six. So we'll have um, on the Sunday on the Sunday we're we'll gonna have the lessons which which will include um, bachata which starts at six thirty and mm -hmm. before that we have a, a, a musical performance from six to six thirty. Tim Burns is a great mm. musician. Check him out. And before six o'clock we'll be doing other sort of um, social dancing. We'll feature sal a, a salsa lesson. Uh, again, we have a cha-cha lesson. We're going to have, also have a merengue lesson as well. All these are great Latin dances and other uh, lessons as well. So, uh, again, these are all at uh, these lessons. You don't have to bring a partner. People yeah. rotate. So what happens is that you have a dance instructor, two dance instructors. They'll show you the moves, and you rotate partners at each move they show. And stuff like wow. that. So don't need to be concerned about being stuck with one partner, particularly because 
everybody gets a dance chance to dance with everybody else. And so by the time that you have the actual social dancing part, people are already familiar with pe other people who might have been at the lessons, and it creates a more friendly environment for social engagement. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is terrific. Yeah, so that's what we're yes. going to be doing. So we'll be checking that out. So so again, so Saturday swing dancing, Lindy Hop, and we got some other stuff planned. Uh, I was on the Saturday, uh, Sunday. We'll be doing more of a Latino style dancing with merengue, uh, cha cha, uh, bachata, and salsa, and other dancing we have uh, uh, lined up as well. And, uh, and uh, on the Saturday, we'll be having an open floor swing dancing after the lesson. So without that starting mm -hmm. sometime after six thirty, open floor Latino dancing starting at after. Um, 6 30 on Sunday and for the singles uh, uh, oriented programming check that out on um, starting at 12 to 2 p.m. on okay. Saturday or 25 to 47 later in the afternoon over 45 50 plus later in the afternoon book up and hook up events for the um, uh, su su Sunday check out the uh, 50 plus uh, brunch uh, uh, event where we have uh, we'll have a uh, selection of scones uh, for people and uh, gourmet uh, coffee as well. All these events that we have planned for that are social networking events. We'll be featuring right. um, everybody will have coffee, which is a great way to connect. Coffee and books go together, uh, you know, to, I find. So, yeah, yeah. so yeah. check out these events again, ottawasummerfest.ca or ottawabookexpo.ca, which will also have some highlighted authors coming to the event as well. Yeah, so yeah. lots to do, a lot of dancing, a lot of meeting yeah. up with new people. So you can get, grab a book and maybe get a date and yeah. uh, listen to some great music. So, yeah, it's like a, a very all-encompassed event, I, mean, I find. So that's yeah. really good. And, yes, uh, yeah, that's, that's the idea. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so, Ray, also, do you want to, like, also talk about, like, uh, the... The, the cost of the tickets and where they can get the tickets and things like that? Uh, yeah, so uh, ticket prices. So the general admission to the um, event is uh, like the early bird price that we have been running is $10 and stuff. like That's the early wow. bird price. So um, for the event, the, each event depends on, you know, what you're going for in terms of the dancing. So uh, in terms of getting the tickets, go to ottawasummerfest.ca because the tickets – very depending on whether you want to go just to open floor dancing, for example, or if you want to go to the um, the uh, lessons. Now, for the singles events, the uh -huh. um, current price, the early, depending on what event you're going for, is twenty four to uh, forty nine, twenty four to twenty nine dollars, which is the um, early bird price for the singles event, which is again cheaper than uh, the average cost for speed dating. And these uh, single social networking events, I've, I've gone to them event, these events myself, and they right. tend to be in the $40 price range. Some of them are in the $50 price range. Some mm -hmm. of them are more and stuff like that because, again, they're run by for-profit companies. So yeah. the price range of these uh, events that have these, you know, either speed dating or these artificial icebreaker events where most of the time you don't get to meet people and um, – Again, one thing, the stupid thing about this speed dating and stuff like that is that, I mean, I've gone to these events and have like three matches. So okay. I said, guy, guy, you think you have the jackpot and stuff like that, but yeah. not really and stuff yeah. like that. And what happens that because you, I mean, I've gone to these events and um, you, you, you go on a date and you find out that the person that you match with is a, because you only speak to them for like five minutes. <laughs> and stuff like that. They seem to be a yeah. pretty cool person. You got yeah. to meet with them. And they're like, hey, yeah, speed dating. Okay, let me call up this person. Oh, that's me. No, that's me for coffee. Find out they're yeah. crazy and stuff like that. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah, you find that they're crazy or they're off or they're not as social. Yeah. Because yeah. when they were at um, when they were at the speeding event, you know, like speed dating events, sometimes, you know, now and then if you go for a higher priced event, that's like 60 or 70 bucks. They'll have like uh, open alcohol and stuff like that. Right. So you go to these open alcohol events, and they are some people. They open up and they're like, "Oh, there's a cool person. They just had a yeah. one or two drinks. They're social and yeah, stuff yeah. like that." 
So you go to the actual, uh, you meet them sober, and they're different. <laughs> totally different. I found yeah. that. I've I found seen that, that happen. I, yeah, oh, I found yeah. I, one time I was at Barry Moore's, yeah. okay. and there was this, you know, attractive lady, you know, yeah. who was like, kept dancing in front of me intentionally, okay. wanting me to ask her, her number and stuff like that. So yeah, so I got her number and stuff like that, and uh, when I went out with her and stuff like that, you know, I had to, she was like completely cr just whack and oh, just no. not social, weird, strange. I, I had to order a drink for she mm -hmm. just to be social because I oh didn't want to just walk out in the middle of the day. I was wow. trying to be like, oh, let me be gentlemanly. Yeah. I, I'm not just going to take off because this person is whack and stuff like yeah, that. Sometimes when you get to meet yeah. people, and you're just going yeah. to the club and stuff like that. So the speed yeah. dating option now and stuff, you know, we talked about that. Then there's these artificial icebreaker events where you drink a little alcohol, whatever, and you don't get to meet people because you're doing artificial events and you don't get to know the person. And then yeah. you go to the club and stuff like that. And sometimes you're meet, meeting them after they've had a few drinks and they're yeah, a little yeah. bit different. So we're providing an alternative. To, and there's online dating. We forgot to talk about that as well, you know. I mean, mm -hmm. online dating is like a real effort to meet oh, yeah. people on there and it stuff is. like that. And because the ladies are getting contacted by millions of guys yes. and stuff like oh, that. God. So and yeah. then they have so they'll talk to you for a while and when yeah. and you and then they'll trade up, oh I am not gonna talk to him that guy anymore. Yeah, yeah. They just ghost you. It's called ghosting. There's yeah, a lot of that going you. on the online. Yeah, yeah just yeah. like ghosting and it's like wait yeah. and you don't get to meet they don't really know you, so it's like a cyber. Exactly. Yes, yeah. cyber personalities. You make so many people fake. in the face, yeah. and they're completely different, exactly. you know, than oh, when you actually communicate with them online. So I guess you've heard some stories from your friends about online dating. Oh, uh, all kinds of hor horror stories. There's even a lot of catfishing going on online. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if you're aware of it. Like they'll put somebody else's photo, yeah, just to get like a lot of matches. And yeah. then uh, when they show up, it's com somebody completely totally different. <laughs> it's like oh, okay. they put somebody. Yeah. So there's that, that, there's some real horror stories like that. And of course, uh, as you said, like you don't really know somebody just from the picture or the bio, bio alone. It, you, yeah. yeah, it's better to meet up, especially if you're looking for something long term and not something just like a one night stand or um, you know something superficial that will not last. Uh, but it, uh, definitely our event has a lot of uh, potential, especially with the dancing and everything. So if yeah. you meet somebody at the singles event and you really like them, you can, you know, dance in the event, same event. So like to get to know each other better. And uh, I'm really, really glad you're having coffee <laughs> yeah. instead of alcohol, because uh, as you said, like alcohol, uh, you don't you don't really know the person when they're like ha consume too much uh, drinks. Yeah. Um, uh, but coffee, it's much. It's always better to meet somebody, especially if you're meeting somebody for the first time. It's always better to do it over coffee, yeah, in general. And then yeah, once you get to yeah. know them, then yeah, you can go for like a drink or a, like an actual meal, and yeah. So definitely, it seems very promising. Yeah, meeting people on yeah. more on a sober basis. So what's the what's the motivation with this catfishing anyway? Like yeah. people yeah. think, oh well, I showed <laughs> a different photo, but yeah. once you get to know me. 